and we go to uh, let me go to materials okay so um, let me go ahead and take this one and we'll just here so if I wanted to say bake all this fabric detail in noisemaker which we could definitely do in ZBrush and then I could take that and I could bake it to a normal map I could bring it in here and I could color it but if I ever was like you know what I got it in game and I backed off and it's getting this more more effect it's kind of sizzling on the screen I need to make it bigger I would have to go back into ZBrush scale the noisemaker up apply it to my mesh again possibly rebake my normal maps, bring it back in, hope I got clean bakes again, and then I could go through that process as opposed to in here, all I would need to do is just tile this less. Uh, same thing with any sort of detail here. If I go ahead and let's kill that, let's just put on um, just a fill layer. So we got a fill layer here, I'm gonna make it like darker, metallic, a little shiny, like this. So we've got our detail here. And if I wanted to uh, stamp something on here, I could just do another fill layer. We can call this height. And in fact, dang it, let's let's go back to that denim one because this will be a this will be something else I would do. So we've got denim in here, right? And we're gonna go to our UV scale. And let's say I wanted to put stitches on here. So I go into ZBrush, I get my stitch brush out, and I follow along on my model, and I mush it around, and I move things around, and I put stitches on here. And then I get into here, and I get in the game, and I realize the stitches are too small. I have to do every single one of my stitches manually back in ZBrush. Instead, what I'd rather do is do something a little less destructive, which would be call this one like a stitch layer. And then we can add a black mask here. And for this... Let's put this in a group here. So we've got a stitches, we'll call this stitches all. So we've got a stitch layer here and I'm gonna go to my brushes and we're gonna go to this stitches brush. Let's do stitches small. And you're gonna see uh, it's got an alpha and it also has lines in it. So if we go over here and we look at, I need to move this over a little bit. And we look at uh, da, 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 what type of stitch stitch types we have and also watch this alpha update so if we have just a line stitch we can go stripes opacity we can dial that all the way down or all the way up if we want a lot of stripes and I'm going to dial that all the way down you can change the spacing between them if you have multiple so if you do like stitches of a count of like two now you got two stitches you can scale them in the y's kind of stretch them out a little bit scale them in the x you can make them thinner or thicker uh, you can change the spacing between them so you can kind of pack them in a little bit closer. And now you've got two stitches. On this one, let's go over here to the height. And I'm going to say this one is, ooh, is it going to be replace? I want it to still have height here. But I want this one. Let's go clear mask. No, let's go to, well, we'll keep that mask on here. It's not going to be replace. It's going to be normal. Okay, so when I add height to the stitch layer here, I can go to the stitch layer, and right now I just have, I have base color, so I can go through here, and I can make stitches that are, let's make them the same color brown, but we'll just make it a little bit lighter, and then we'll make it not metallic. Roughness, we can make it super shiny, or we can make it pretty matte. I'll go ahead and make it pretty matte. And then the height, we can just give it a little bit of height bump. So now I can go through here, and I can add stitches, like so, and if it's like, okay, these are too big. Undo that, make it smaller, and I just drag that out. And it's like, okay, that's fine, but their height isn't enough, or it's too much. I can just go over here to the height, and I can go, okay, it's not enough, or it's here's a really height, and then here it is, a little bit less height. So I can just modify that on the fly, and it's like, you know what, I don't like that color. Just go down here and change the color. Now, this is all stuff you could do doing it in ZBrush and you know, going out and baking these little tiny stitches with a material ID and then bringing it in. But you couldn't change the height on the fly. It would be baked in and you couldn't, uh, I mean, and you could get a pretty clean material ID, but it's, you're probably going to have a hard time getting it as clean as this. You know what I mean? Because it's just, you're putting an alpha stamp right on there. So probably a little bit tougher. And I can also go in here to say like orthographic view and really quickly, I can just go in through here and I can go here. Let me just stamp this all the way through here. Hold just holding down shift so we can make a denim gun and we can put these little stitches on here. I can go and this is going to be, I don't know what, I got some lights, have some weird UVs going on here. But if I go through here, 
I can put these on here, and if I decide, you know what, these are all double stitches, like double stitch like a pair of shoes, but now I want to go to single stitch, just go to your line options here, take your count back to one, and now you got single stitch. Let's say these single stitches are bigger, you can just make that bigger. And in fact, if we take this one and we just duplicate this one off, and we go add a black mask, now this one's all reset. And now I can have entirely different properties for this stitch. So I can go through here and I can be like, okay, there's my big stitches. In fact, I want to make these a different color. I want to make them orange and metallic and super shiny and uh, super poppy. You can go through here and just do that. No problem. Um, in fact, it kind of looks like it's sitting on the surface. If you want to embed these a little bit, we can take this stitch copy here. I'm going to move it down below and we'll call this divot and we're going to take this one. We're going to turn off everything because all I'm really interested in is the height here and we're going to change this divot to subtractive. Now it's going to at first cancel out. Uh, it's going to actually make it look like it's sinking in. But if we take this mask, which is just that mask right there, if I alt tap this one and we say add a filter and we go down here to blur, a B blur. So now what we can do is you can change that blur intensity, but now we have a little divot that's adding a negative height around the stitch. So now it looks like it's embedding a little bit around the stitch. Not a perfect solution, but it is something that you can do to kind of make it look like it's seated in there a little bit better. But anyway, you know, this is the kind of stuff where, yeah, you could do it in ZBrush. You could make a brush that had stitches in it and you could do that, but it would be a lot of work 